Welcome back to the On Demand Virtual Tastings by Dow. My name is Kat Dow, and I am so excited to share these beautiful wines with you in our Ladies of Dow lineup. All right, so you might be curious as to what wine represents who in the family, and I'm gonna take you through that right now. So let's start with the very first wine. We've got our Estate Cuvée Lizzie, and this is a blend of Malbec, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. So who is Lizzie, right? I'm sure you want to feel a personal connection to these wines and who they're named after. And as Dow is a family owned and operated business, keeping family at the core of what we do is super important to our values. So with the estate Cuvée Lizzie, this is a representation of my younger sister. She is about three years younger than me and I have been able to, as her older sister, watch her evolve from childhood and her passion for wine and the experience of wine developed as a child and I've been able to see that evolve over the course of her life. My father made this wine in honor of her and this beautiful feminine wine really kind of depicts Lizzie's energy. And my father and Lizzie used to walk in the vineyard together and really talk about their passion for wine and taste wines together and sit in the cellar and just geek out. And it was really cool to watch. So it's a beautiful representation of their relationship and their passion that they share for winemaking together. All right, are you ready to taste? I am dying to taste this wine. So I'm actually gonna teach you how to taste today. If you're familiar with it, great. And if not, I'm gonna teach you something that might be a little bit more experiential for you. Let's pour. Our Estate Cuvée Lizzie is aged for 15 months in 80% new French oak. Let's observe the wine together. So in tasting a wine, if you're gonna do it like professional, you want to be able to observe the wine with a neutral background. So like your hand or a white piece of paper or even a neutral table. And you can take the wine and just kind of roll it around the glass. You can swirl it a little bit. And with this wine, with the Cuvée Lizzie, you'll notice it's actually a really bright ruby red. It's a gorgeous color. You can't see through the wine, which arguably is a sign of a great wine, and it really leaves a beautiful color on the sides of the glass as you swirl it. It just looks like a beautiful feminine fun wine that you want to smell. So when you're smelling a glass of wine and you want to get in touch with the aromatics of it, for Dow wines, you don't really have to stick your whole face in the glass, but for the sake of having fun, we can kind of put our nose in the glass together and it's already so aromatic, just, just at the nose. And right away, I, I'm getting a lot of like black fruit, so blackberry, a lot of black cherry. I can almost taste it in my mouth as I'm smelling it. And there's a subtle smokiness that you can experience on the nose as well. And, and I want to say too that when you're smelling, observing, tasting a wine, it's an incredibly personal experience. The mind and, and our memory connected to smell pulls us back to childhood memories or foods that we had in our childhood or an experience we had when we traveled. So if you're not smelling or tasting something that I'm experiencing, that's totally fine. That's actually really beautiful. So it'll be interesting to hear on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter what you guys tasted or smelled from each of these wines. I would love to hear about it. So continuing on our tasting journey, now we actually get to taste the wine. So let's take a sip. Oh, wow. So this wine definitely is, is really open and beautiful as I've been swirling it in the glass. And I'm starting to taste again some of what I got on the nose, which is similar. You might experience that. So some of that like dark black cherry again, that black cherry is so beautiful on the palate. And as it went down, kind of on the finish, I get some like toasted almond and maybe even some spice too. Like there's a little bit of like maybe some allspice. Let's take another sip. This wine has like a voluptuousness to it, right? So it, it carries a lot of um, character on the palate. You really feel like you get to experience it from the front all the way to the back. My mouth is watering 
and I feel like I really need to pair this wine with something that's gonna stand against it because it can carry on its own just fine. So what would I pair with this wine? Well, if I'm thinking about Lizzie and what she loves, Lizzie actually loves to cook. It's so cute to watch her in the kitchen. She's got a whole vibe going with music and she's got all her ingredients pre-prepped and she loves lamb. And so I would say a lamb, like a braised lamb would go really well with this wine. Um, I even want to say maybe like a, a mashed potato puree or even like a parsnip puree, something really hearty and beautiful. And I think both of those foods would pair texture wise on the palate really well with this wine. Our next wine is a really sentimental and beautiful wine and it's named after my aunt Michelle or as her nickname was Misho and she passed away in 2010 from breast cancer. You may know this because every October we do our Breast Cancer Awareness Month campaign on social media and in our emails and we talk about Misho and her life and she is lived on by her daughter Sarah and her son Noni. So when I think of Misho, she was actually really close to me before she passed. I used to spend every weekend at her house. She was lively, like life of the party, joie de vivre, just you saw her, she was dancing and she was enjoying life and just hosting people and really loved being in connection. So when I think of Misho, I think of a woman who was strong and full of life and just had so much light to give to this world and we miss her very much. Okay, so let's taste this wine together. So our estate Misho is always a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. We're gonna follow the same three components of tasting that we did with the Cuvée Lizzie, and we're gonna start by observing the wine. So again, you wanna have that neutral background. And compared to the Cuvée Lizzie, it's really interesting to, to look at all three of these eventually together, but this is a little bit of a deeper, darker ruby red in comparison to the Cuvée Lizzie, but still has that bright red on the, the outside edges of the wine. Really beautiful tannins in the glass as well. Just my mouth is drooling already. So with that, we should probably get into smelling it. So again, we are coming into this experience with our own personal thoughts, memories, nostalgia, whatever it is. So by putting your nose in the glass, start to think about things that are coming forward for you, any kind of notes. So we'll start. Mm. I don't even know if this is like the right word to say, but I feel like it's a little bit more like warm on the nose for sure. A little bit deeper. I get some like blueberries as if like they've been sitting on the counter for four or five days and they're really ripe and juicy, but they're also really dark and blue. There's definitely some spice on there, really like an exciting amount of spice. Like you can really sense it. And just, just like the, tiniest hint of vanilla like you can just you really have to look for it but it's definitely there so with that let's taste it oh li lively on the palate just like me show but it's a really mm, it's really the word that i'm thinking of is like graceful like you you sense its presence on the front of the palate. It takes you with a little kick in the middle and then a really beautiful fluid finish in the end. I'm getting some like, definitely some bl some black fruit again, red fruit, a little, little hint of that. Let's take another sip. Some spice. Okay, this is coming out of left field, but maybe some like black licorice even. There's like a little hint of that. And I feel like because of what we smelled on the nose and what we tasted on the palate, I think the obvious food pairing is like a blueberry compote, right? Like a blueberry or a blackberry compote, crispy pie crust. Oh my gosh, maybe some vanilla ice cream on top. I feel like this is effortless. This wine is just absolutely beautiful and that food pairing would go really well with it. The very last wine in this tasting, it makes me blush a little bit. It's the Cuvée Catherine. I introduced myself as Kat, but my full name is Catherine and I have the honor of sharing my name with this wine. Um, and my father called me when he was making this wine and 
he said, I have this incredible wine that I want to tell you about, and it reminds me of you, and I want to tell you why. And I was like, okay, sure. And he said, well, I took 11 different clones of Cabernet Sauvignon. I co-fermented them together, and this is the first time that I've done this, and I aged them beautifully in new French oak, and this wine is so diverse, and it's so connected to Mother Earth, it reminded me of you. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. It makes me feel so seen. Like, thanks for seeing me. But also, like, how incredible this wine sounds amazing. Like, when do I get to try it? He's like, a year and a half. And I was like, cool. <laughs> now I just have to wait a year and a half to try this wine. Well, I will tell you, when I tried it for the first time, it blew me away. And it is such an honor to have my name on a bottle of wine. So it's going to be interesting to taste it with you today. And um, yeah, let's just let's just get into it. So let's pour and then we'll taste together. So like I said, this is all Cabernet Sauvignon. And just by looking at these, these three wines together already, you can tell the difference in the color. You've got Cuvée Lizzie that's a little bit more ruby red and the Estate Michaud, but then Cuvée Catherine comes in with this deep dark purple, like inky color. So again, let's observe the wine. So component number one of tasting, we're gonna just observe against a neutral background. Now this one's a little bit more opaque against the background, but I definitely can't see anything on the tasting menu. So it's got a lot of richness to it. Stains the glass beautifully. Beautiful phenolics on this wine, just incredible. You can tell just by looking at it. All right, let's smell it. Mm, so I'm getting some strawberry and plum right away. And I'm gonna say black cherry. And there is just like a, like a hint of currant or like a really small dark blueberry. Mm, mm, so good. All right, let's taste it. Ooh. Ooh, the whole palette is just coated in the voluptuousness of this wine. Right away, I'm getting herbaceousness. Like that is the first thing that pops out to me as it opens up. Let's try again. I feel like there's a a ping pong ball of different flavors going on in my mouth. It is really diverse on the palate, just as diverse it is on the nose. I wanna say like some black cherry, raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, like lots of berries. On the finish, I'm getting that like chocolate, cocoa texture, even some like, like a chocolate lavender, like a, or a lavender chocolate. Uh, wow, that herbaceousness is really beautiful. And you can taste the terroir texture for sure, too. Let's take one more sip. And that current comes through really beautifully. Oh my gosh. I'm biased, but this is really good. So for food pairing, of course, just like I did with Cuvée Lizzie and the Estate Me Show, I think about each person and what they might make with the wine. Well, I don't know that I would make anything with this wine. My favorite food is sushi of all foods. And I feel like this wine would go really well with like a salmon belly nigiri, but like brulee, right? So you want that crispiness, that texture, a little bit of that burnt umami that would go with the wine really well. Mm. Yeah something fatty that would definitely cut the beautiful acidity that exists in this wine and it would just blend really well. I know sushi and red wine isn't an obvious pairing, but I don't know, I think it would go really well together. All right, my friends, this has been a very beautiful tasting to do with you with the ladies of Dow. It was an honor to taste with you and I would love to know how your experience went, where in the world you're tasting from and what you specifically picked up on each wine. So you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter and tell us what your experience was like. I would love to know. So with that, I'll see you next time with Cuvée Catherine. Cheers.